And we are back with another episode of Secure. Uh, oh, that was bad. <laughs> okay, it's been a while, so I messed up. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers here with uh, Sid and BJ again. Vish is back in Port Union with his uh, family doing stuff. You know he's going to India soon? Who? Uh, Vish going to India for yeah? two weeks. Yeah, yeah, he's got like some family stuff, so. Yeah, he's gonna nice. Oh, just for two weeks. Yeah, just for two weeks. I think he's gonna go to like um, just where he's like his family was and born and stuff. So it's like whatever. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. what uh, Adrian and I did when we went to Philippines. Oh, nice. Oh, just like visit family and stuff. Well, I went to our roots. Oh, for where sure. Where they were, sure. where my parents were born. I, I think he's oh. got like a family party. Well, I don't know. I'll I'll ask him about it next time. Maybe a wedding. Pro- I, th- I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's saying like it's like a wedding. So, oh, this is close. Uh, yo, have you ever seen um, uh, Tony Robbins on Netflix? Like the I Am Not Your Guru? Yeah. You saw the I Am Not Your Guru? Maybe not. I don't know the specific one. I've watched many uh, Tony, Ro- uh, Tony Robbins. Uh, from, from Netflix? Was it on Netflix or like YouTube? Both. Okay. I think I got that one. Yeah. All right, so... What's your impression of Tony Robbins? Nah, he's a good guy. I yeah, know. like a, a he's a realist. Of... He's he's a realist, you know. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So you said exactly what everyone was saying about him, and I was like, okay, let me watch this freaking video, yo, about like the Netflix and like, yo, because everyone talks so highly of like Tony Robbins, right? So I'm like, okay, yeah. what's what's this guy talking about? And he's like, I'm not your guru, honestly. I kind of get a weird vibe though. He's kind of like a false. It was kind of ironic. He's like, "I'm not your guru," and the whole video is about him being a guru. Him being a guru, yeah, right. I get it, that. it was so whack because like he, um, I don't know if you, I don't know if it's the one you saw, but he's like, "All right, I know, I have a feeling that you don't want to be with your boyfriend." She's like, "No, I don't. No, I don't." And he's like, "Call him right Call now. This thing. Call oh, him right yeah. now." I hate that those testimonial parts. Oh my yeah. goodness! In front of everyone, yeah. you know, and I was watching. I was like, "Yo, that's just peer pressure." Yeah, you're just like pressuring her to do and, it. And then, and then he would make her, made her call him. Yeah, in yo, front of everyone. It, it was, was so one, cracked. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then she's like crying. Yeah, she's like, "I don't know if I want to do it." And he's like, "Don't be weak. Don't be weak." And then like she yeah. called, and then he's like. Like, help her out, everyone. You're gonna, like, break up with your boyfriend. I was like, dude, what if she didn't want to break up with her boyfriend, you know? You're just, like, you're just projecting right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was crazy. No, I get that. I totally get that. I get that. Right? And and that's what what made me, like, question. I was like, do do people actually, like, realize what's going on? Like, is he actually, uh, like, Tony Robbins, if you're listening to this right now, please sponsor me because I love you so much. You're the best person I know. But, um, but Yeah. My my opinion is that uh, I kind of feel like he's a bit of like a, a false guru, prophet, idol kind of thing. Uh, I I like the what he what he uh, speaks of though. For sure, no, no. You know, see, see, how to get people's lives back to like in, in order for totally. them and stuff. Totally, like, totally. That's yeah. what I like. But, but, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't like the testimonials when he was doing that stuff. Right. He's, but he's, like exactly. That was, that's his style. That's his style of but, doing things. But that's like that's like like we were talking before about like holding knowledge. Like he has some knowledge, you know, that's like true, but it's like don't feel yourself too hard. You know what I mean? Cuz now he's mm. like he's he's becoming the guy that like like how would Tony Robbins act if he met another Tony Robbins? Would they be buddies? You know? Or would they both no. be like Oh no. You know what I mean? They both be like, "Yo, I'm the alpha." But like, he's too, yeah, he's, yeah, exactly. He is the Western uh, epitome of what it means to be, like, have it all together, you ex- know? Exactly. So it's like. So it's like, that. but that's why I said it's the Western, like, Western, Western thought. That's the way it has to be. But it's like, he has, it's only a piece of it. That's one side of it. For sure, for sure, for sure. the other side, right? So. But he but hasn't realized he, the other side, you know. Well, maybe he has. Who knows? I don't, I don't maybe really know maybe it ha- he has, and it just didn't benefit him as oh, much as. Oh, that's good, actually. But then would, would that mean that he realized it, or he just knows it, right? Because there's like he a difference it. between. I know he knows it. Right. That's why he knows it, 
Has, but he's choosing to... Has he realized it? You know... He, right. Oh, I see, The only see, person see. that can judge that is himself, right? For You're sure, the only one sure. that can judge if you realize it for yourself. If he says he realizes it, then yeah, you realize it for yourself. So what, what do you um, do in those situations then if you're like, oh man, like, because you know, like he's got like a lot of critical acclaim. Everybody will, like loves Tony Robbins, but like, like if you're- A lot of people hate him too. So really? like there's oh, I both didn't know sides. That. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot Is, of people don't like him too. Who, who, so who doesn't like him though? I'm not like there's just uh, there's a other other followings that just don't like him. Right, don't like right, his right. style because they, he's too alpha, because he's oh. too pushy. You know, it's so like uh, maybe maybe they themselves because he's too straight. Like... Yeah, he's too like uh, his approach is to don't give a fuck. But even oh, with sorry. his like even with his like approach like <clears throat> even with his approach like that, it doesn't really seem like like if he really understood his own teachings, he wouldn't be acting like that. That that's my only gripe. It's like. Dude, if you're like benevolent, nice, meditate, because like I saw it in the beginning, he's like, I like to meditate daily in front of my million dollar mansion. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, bro. <laughs> like, come on. Really? You're going to play that false front? And like, he was like doing the, uh, the, the freaking uh, jumping on the trampoline right before. Honestly, I think people with that kind of mentality, like, like, like attracts like. Right. So people that yeah. that like love that kind of person, they they tend to like kind of become like that person. You know what I mean? And like so those are, that's what people aspire to be, though, when they go to those uh, the, those talks for him, like they're like, I want to be Tony Robbins. True. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so it's like it's not really right? I want to be like him. I want to sure. achieve what he's achieved. But, but see, in, in that, it's like I want to be I want to achieve what he's achieved. It's all outcome oriented, like. They yeah, like change your life true. and stuff. It's like, well, what are you trying to change? Like, who who do you want to be? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're I, searching. They're searching for happiness, and they feel that Tony Robbins has the answer to their happiness. But you know what's crazy? So, like, all right. So, a lot of people they're like, oh, like I got this book on like enlightenment. I got this book on happiness. I got this book on. But it's like, do you even know what those words mean? You know, it's before you look at the steps on how to get there. Ask yourself, what is that stuff really? You know, for Maybe, you, yeah, exactly. Right, because exactly. it's like it's like oh, I want to achieve happiness. Do you don't even know what happiness means? So, what, like, what? Because what is you, happiness to you? But, but the That's funny the part question. is for sure, for sure. And and the funny part is once you've once you've um, once you've like figured out what it is, then it's like, why well, do you need the book then? You know what I mean? Because like, all right, so so my my example is like if somebody asks me like, That's oh, true. I want to be, I like to ask people this, like, oh, yo, what does enlightenment mean? You know. And then they're like, oh, it's this, 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 and this. And so it's like, okay, so then why do you need... Oh, nice. We finished 33K. Is that how much you got? Yeah. I like hey. it. That's good, that good monies. That's good monies. Yeah, so... Um, hey, okay, we're gonna, we got to get a car and then we'll go to back to the... Jump in. So, oh, what the... Wait, hold on. Actually, okay. I, actually I don't need to. Oh, what's up? Hold on. You're going to call your bike? Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, I'll call my bike too. Yeah, so, like, um, I, I love asking people, like, uh, what is enlightenment? Because then once they answer it, it's like, so then why do you need the book? Like, you already have your yeah. answer, bro. You know what I mean? But so like, they, they think it's some esoteric thing that's, that cannot that's be the, achieved. That's the crazy part. But you know what I mean? It's like, nobody really knows in Western society. So like, we had to look for it ourselves and like study. And then when you come to the realization that it's like, it's not as freaking intense as people think, yo. It's like, I, I, I think enlightenment is like realizing, well, realizing a lot of things actually, but primarily it's like your, your mind is the one creating everything. So it's like, yeah, it's like, if you get that, it's like, oh, I, I want to be happy. Who wants to be happy, bro? I do. What's the I? Oh, my, me. Like, you know, it's like, it all comes back to the mind. Because if, you, if you're not yeah. in your mind, you don't want anything. You're just doing whatever, you know? Yeah. So how would you do that? Uh, how would you uh, do that to, like, uh, just the fishermen? Just or the fishermen? Like, uh, you know, oh, how no, would you uh, explain that to? Yeah. I'll but see, see they, they, that's the crazy part. Because, like, if, if the person's like, see, that's what I don't like, where it's like, dude, you're just a fisherman. You really need to, like, enlighten and wake up. It's like, what do you mean, bro? <laughs> Well, but like, the fisherman is, he didn't is even ask. can be. Oh, yeah. the fisherman can it can be enlightened and awakened in his own way. For sure, so for, exactly. His or her way. So it's like, but you you know what you know what like this search I for enlightenment that. is. It's 
it's the aching in your brain that you don't realize you have a brain or it's the aching in your mind that you don't realize you have a mind because the fisherman doesn't care about enlightenment if they're not thinking about it you know what i mean it's like why are you telling yeah. me that i need to enlighten myself yeah you know, i didn't even ask you bro you know now you're just like yeah. impeding on me so then why do people do it why, why do I, people push on push on that stuff onto uh, others i believe it's because they they themselves feel insecure about what they know so in order to justify their own reason for being they create a false mission so it's sort of like it's like um it's like i don't really know if this is the truth but if i can make a lot of people believe the exact same thing as me it must be true oh yeah because if more than yeah uh, right it's, it's like you're, you're feeding yourself uh, like your your own unknowing you know what i mean like let me project myself let me present myself as a very knowledgeable resource for spirituality and awakening because if i do that then a lot of people will agree with me and then i'll know if i'm correct or not you know what i mean mm. but it's like you won't even know if you're correct because they could just be dumb themselves that's true uh, so what is like the main uh, main thing that you want to say to the people regarding this <laughs> the main thing i want to say is uh do your own research never take anything at face value because even this so as i'm telling you never don't take it at face value go do your own study bro you tell me yeah yeah because like that that's i think that's a great way to like um get rid of this whole false idleness because like listening to me do this then you could potentially fall into the idea of, like oh he knows you know, it's like, no, yeah. man, I'm just, like, just saying what's on my mind, yo. Relax. It's not that hard, guys. Exactly. That's why we like playing video games, because it's easy on the mind. Oh, but you're, you're, you're not enlightened if you're playing the video game. Mm-hmm. You know? Sad. It, uh, one, yeah, it's the whole realization that it's all perception. and it was just, For sure. When you realize sure. that, it's just like... Who cares what you think? For sure, but but see, <laughs> see, you said, but you said like it's the realization that's perception. But that's why I said it's like it's all mind, right? Because it's like perception is a part yeah. of the mind. But the crazy yeah. part is you can only have perception if you're thinking in terms of past and future, which is the mind. Like if you're in this moment wow. right now, I'm not thinking mm -hmm. about perception. Like I'm driving, so all of my faculties are being used to like drive the character to the direction we need to go, as well as talk to you. So like, there's no mind yeah. that's getting in the way of this right now. You know what I mean? I think yeah. the illusion, I think the, the true subtlety is not realizing that you can use your mind and also be of no mind. You know what I mean? Because like the, um, the samurai talk about the, um, oh, it's a great book, yeah, The Soul of the Samurai. Um, they talk about how like, um, you know, to, to be in a place of no mind. Uh, Zen is like mindlessness, they call it. Uh, yeah. And like, it's funny because in order to be mindless, you are using your mind. Because you engage with an activity which requires the mind you're just calling mm -hmm. it mindless because you're not getting in the way of past and future they they really talk better about like sword play that's where it really comes up because like you have to be in a state of like mindlessness in order not to die you know yeah but it's like you still need the mind because if you didn't have the mind you'd just be standing there and they'd be killing you because like who's the one defending you know what i mean yeah, your mind. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. Okay, where are we supposed to go? We have to go hole. inside. How do we enter the inside? Do you remember the, when you went inside and then they, like, attacked you? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I hear they modeled this video game after um, uh, after an actual place in America. Like, uh, I, I believe it's to scale or something like that. Or maybe probably not to scale. Actually, that's total BS. But uh, Vish told me something about that. Like this game is like very accurate. How do? Uh, what do we do? Oh, um. Well, oh, you're gonna get shot at, bro. Oh, are we going to the locker room? All right, I think we should just pull out our guns and kill everyone. Okay, hold on. Let me. Right. Oh, are we gonna do it. Um. Or maybe I'll throw a pipe bomb from the outside first. Oh, we do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll just, I'll, like, open the door. Um, Start from here. Yeah. Everyone's listening to us right now. Like, they can't see. Go watch YouTube, fellas. Oh, I oh. threw the bomb. <laughs> that happened. Oh. Oh, I just killed us. You killed yourself? Oh, too bad. Yeah. 
It's so funny, real like we're totally just like letting our animal instincts go at this point. Come downstairs. I wonder if they'll create like a like um a new classification for psychoses for because of video games. You know what I mean? Like in the future they'll be like, oh. You're a psychotic gamer. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that would be nuts, yo. Yeah? They like they talk about like, sociopathy in a video game because like the characters that are in there, like they have feelings, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh oh damn, I died. Because like, how do you not know that the character, the NPC that you're killing right now, isn't awake to you killing them? Are you telling me like, like if if you create this a is character, a real life in in its own? I, I think so. Well, if you think about it, right, it's like, that's kind of what's going on. It's like these characters have families, they have lives. Like, what is, what does it mean to be real, you know? If real is, is as much as we believe it, then like... How these, do I... These people have families. This door. These people have families. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, in, yeah. In, the, in the reality, yes. Yeah, right? That's why they're like, no. Like, you've, you played story mode, right? Yeah. So you played with, like, all the, um, like, he, he had, like, a family, and he was, like, dealing with, like, domestic issues and stuff. Yeah. So how do we know that he's, he doesn't actually think this is real, yo? Dude, that's a mind trip, yo. If you think about it. <laughs> you know? Like, just randomly shooting these people, and then now they won't be able to go home and have dinner. Do I put a sticky bomb on? How do I open no, this? No, no, there's the key somewhere in the uh, upwards area. I'm in the upwards. Oh, you have to go into the office at the front. Ah, got it. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I wonder what it would be like to like research, like like video game researchers. Well, also writers too. They must like, they must be so like expertise in this. You know what I mean? Because like. Like, in order to create a video game, you have to have done, like, a lot of research. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or it's like all even, about the research that they do. Right? Exactly. Even, even like, if you write a book or, like, write a story or something, you have to do some form of research. So it's like, these people must be, like, the most elite of the elite, you know? The writers. So there's, there's so much, there's so much um, that they have to. Like, no, yeah. Research. Like, oh, the writers, yeah. Yeah, because, right. well, especially the story. Exactly, yeah, to yeah. be authentic and that makes stuff. Sense. But how many people are that. writing into this into this game? Uh, probably like a lot. They probably have like a yeah. bunch of writers. Oh shoot! Oh, I get died. Where are you? I was I was looking for the key in the front door. Yeah. Hmm. You didn't get it yet. No, still looking. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I'm playing a, playing a walkthrough no. for, um, uh, ooh, there are people. Oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, there's like a sign. Got it. I can unlock the door. I'm playing a walkthrough for, um, Uncharted Lost Legacy. That game's oh, so cool. sick. That, oh, man, have you ever played Uncharted? Mm, yeah, we played it together. Oh, right, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love those story story movie like games. Oh, what do you think of the samurai? Gracias. Nice. I didn't check it out yet. Oh, it's oh, it looks so good. Yeah. You haven't sent it. No one sent it to me. I sent you the text. The like moment I got off. Oh, I should double check. <laughs> yeah, they're um they're creating this whole like open world game, just like GTA, just like this game, except you're a samurai. That is sick. I know, right? Oh man, that game. They made me they kind so of do tough. it in the in uh, there's a game, the samurai game already. Oh, what samurai game? They kind of already do it, but but not to like this extent, um, right? Remember the one I bought at um, the one I bought. EB Games. Yeah, it was uh, Sam the Samurai Way or something like that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how was it? It was pretty linear. Uh, but it wasn't. Op it was kind of open world, but it was uh -huh. like really small open world. Oh, and I then see. And like, it would keep loading, so you you leave the world. It loads to a new world. Mm. Man, loading yeah, screens suck, eh? 
like having yeah. to wait for that it's like oh geez yeah but uh but the the samurai game that's gonna come out allegedly they've created it so well that like it's just like gta like you can go wherever you want to go do you like you like open world games or linear games open world open world do you find that it's hard to like follow the story though um no like oh okay. unless there's no direction if there's no direction then it's no, the, the worst exactly exactly if it's like there's no direction you ever play witcher no oh there's like there's but you know you know how assassin's creed was like that it was like Oh, open you get world. to go here, but then you could yeah, it's open world, but it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna browse the world and see right, what's up. Right, right, of, right, right, right. Instead of just keep doing a mission over and over, yeah, nonstop. Like sometimes you don't want to do a mission. Sometimes you just wanna go have fun. And yeah, for sure. Do whatever, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but like you can, uh, you can get so lost in that man. It was like. Um those open world games like um hold on where, where the hell is this goddamn zayla house oh go all the way north all the way by north. the lake oh okay go far north by your oh. uh by your uh, motorcycle club got area. it all right cool yeah um freaking um yeah I, I find that like sometimes the game like that like if it's like a like let's say like 30 hour game you can end up playing for like 200 hours just because like it makes it has the option of like going to different cities yeah and like you automatically you're like oh i definitely gotta check this out you know what i mean yeah well it's true well this game was the same way for sure but at least it had like online where it's like there was some oh yeah you know what i mean like okay. like you could you can just focus on the video game on um, the story during the story mode because like you know you'll come yeah. back in the online. They should do more of these, man. Like online worlds. Yeah. Well, Destiny, Destiny Two is an online world. Oh yeah. But you don't kill it, each yeah. other. Yeah, you don't kill each other. But like how? how... Well, you do. There, there are games where it's like a death, team deathmatch type of stuff. But oh, okay, cool. When you're doing like when you're in the world, it's like open world, and oh, then that's cool. people can join you and play at the same time uh, and help you with your missions you can help other people but yeah, you had to it was, pretty, uh, it was a pretty cool idea you have to like uh join their world sort of like this world no no it's one world oh dude but then it's like how do you know who's a part of what story they'll be in different worlds there's different worlds you go into it and then it's you'll just oh, see yeah. people doing their own mission you'll just see i'll just see someone shooting up a some monsters of the of that planet that's trying to take over and then like as you're walking by trying to do your own mission you see other people do their mission that sounds like hella confusing yo well you like... don't have to you don't have to mind yourself to their you don't get to see their missions unless they you're invited to their party oh i get it okay but they're in there but they're in the world you don't see like their waypoints you don't see what they're doing you just right. see them as a character and you see them running and shooting, and then you're just like, oh, okay, where's he going towards? So, oh, he's going there. Okay, So whatever. how do you beat the story? Like, what's the main story then? Uh, you yeah, you just go through the story. It's it's all about um, this alien force that's taking over the... Ouch. Taking over um, one of the planet... Oh, uh, well, Earth. Uh-huh. Taking over Earth, and... Um, trying to stop them but like I, like i guess my question is like how how do you know what level other people are on as because uh, if it's like if it's an a to b story right like oh, I'll say, oh you know, how do you know what like, level exactly oh, so you it's see like, the, you're like you see their 20. name at the uh -huh. top like you see their name at the top of their character and uh -huh. uh, what level they're at no, no no but i mean like i mean like what what mission point like if it's like an a to z game right how ones that like why ones it's not that, no it's what? it's totally open oh it's like that wow that's crazy it's open and then you can choose you can be like oh i'm ready for this mission and then it'll start prompting oh, you so is the story that good and then? then and then when you finish it you're open world again and you can right. do whatever you want yeah oh that's interesting but is, is the story even good then if it's like that 
it's quick. It's a very quick one. It's oh, it's Oh, okay. So what it the story is to get people uh practicing on how the movement is and how it works so that when oh, you're playing I with other you. people, when you're playing with like actual like individuals that are highly skilled also, they because they've already gone through the game, they know how to play. Right. So it's just the story is to teach you how to play and then there's so much to do after the story. Like you, oh, that's there's so cool. many missions. Oh, so yeah, it's like so this. many missions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. So many missions in different uh, planets. Each planet gives you different weapons to level up your your character. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Do Do you like? Do so you it's like World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft meets Halo. That's what it is. Ah, oh, I see. I see. So you do like like um like dungeon run missions or something like that. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's not like du it's not called dungeons, but yeah, exactly. You go into like a, a deep into a cave or something. So uh, how does it not get boring? It it does. Oh, <laughs> it only it gets more. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. That's funny. Okay, cool. It okay. gets it gets boring when you don't have people to play with. So this is a multiplayer. Like you need a group of friends to play with. Oh, okay. So it's more like just a if you don't have master. a group of friends. Yeah, if you don't have a group of friends to play with this, uh, put to play Destiny Two. Uh -huh. It gets pretty boring pretty quick. Oh, really? Yeah, because okay. there's a lot of things that you have to do with people. Like, there's a mission where you need six six people. Right. right, right. And you you can't you can't get into it unless you have six. And then there's one where it's like you need three people. You you won't be able to beat the beat the mission right. without three people. So it's like. Oh, so it, you, the have whole that, point you actually is, have to party up. Yeah, you have to party up with random people. Some people are trolls. Oh, okay. But but then some so a lot aren't because if if you pass the mission, you all get like better weapons. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. And then like you you get part of the clan, and then you can use your clan part your your clan members as party members. So have you ever made friends you just, online you have, yet? No, well, <laughs> I don't care to. to be yeah, like, like no chat. But like if you're playing a game with somebody like all the time. You know, like, hey man. I don't. On. I don't use my mic to be honest. Oh, okay, I okay. only use my mic on GTA Five doing these podcasts. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because I know, yeah. like, Vish is really into it. Like, he, he made like parties and stuff, and like, you know, like legit, legit friends. Like they, um, they like hang out together and stuff. Not, not Vish, but like, um. Oh wait, where's your? Oh, oh yeah, I got it. Um, yeah, like they they'll visit each other and stuff. Like one girl, like well, somebody's from like a different country, and then they'll go see the other person in their country. And it's like, oh, you got a place to stay, you know what I mean? Like collect collectivity. Yeah. Like, I sounds, know people do that. For sure, I know like, people do that. Right? It, it sounds weird. I am weird. not comfortable with that. Agreed. 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 Like, like I'm for too me, old school. I'm too it, old school. Exactly. You know? But that's, that's like the is. new way, eh? Like, like the future is it, like it definitely totally. Is. I know a lot of people like, especially with the EA, the um, with the uh, what's it called, the uh, League of Legends. Uh huh. Yeah. That stuff. Oh my God! People travel for that. Really? Yeah. People get sponsored. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the esports. Like there's, yeah, it's like it's um, it's amazing, man. I'm like, wow, like people from like Asia will come to the U.S. just to right, yeah, yeah. live here and train to be one of these guys that play video games. I, actually, uh, my cousin was telling me about this. Uh, remember Isaac? Yeah. He's like obsessed with video games, and like he was telling me that. Uh, oh wow, you like upgraded the, or is this the same? Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same. Okay. Same. Um. So he was telling me that like um oftentimes these like really rich Chinese like. Uh, tycoons they'll they'll like bet against one another like he'll um he was saying that like one guy bought out an entire hotel and then converted it into like a uh dormitory where yeah and then for, like a for uh, league of legend guys yeah yeah it's crazy yeah, yeah. And then they just battle each yeah, other they do it's that. like what the hell how much money do, do you have that you could do this right now yo no but like the, they train them to go into the esports right 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 and they are sponsored and then they get people in there and then if you are one of the people that are in that in that contest uh -huh. you are in the top of the world for sure, for sure. You know, each each country has a, a team that represents them, right? Yeah, 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 exa exactly. You know? You, you know that they they um they sold out like a whole soccer arena 
uh, I don't know if you saw it on Vice, but like they they sold out an entire soccer arena size in like Taiwan, and um, they just held like like esports, and it was like yeah. so popular. Like nobody's really into like physical sports anymore. Yeah, well, like people are. I am. So oh no, no, no I can't right, see. right. Yeah. I meant more like like the the up. It's just like how you wouldn't. Um, you wouldn't do that thing where like you would let people live with you just because you play video games with them like you're old school right so it's like if we die yeah and then like six more generations from us are you inside or are you coming out i'm coming out here let um, me hit your ride for sure uh so if you have like six generations from now or something right or maybe even three generations from now um two 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 it's generations. gonna happen in the next one you know what right? i mean and then they're just like they're like oh like um, it's so normal to have people over who you're who you play video games with. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's gonna be but why do, you, why do you need them over? You know, you can just do it. Well, I understand the esports because it's like a team thing. Right. So right. they like no, but it's like if you're being around travel. each other and no, you're like you're like oh, I'm gonna go on vacation in the U S. and then like I know my buddy is a video gamer. Like, can I stay with you? And they're like, yeah, for sure, man. Bring no, a lot console. of people offer the like. A lot of people do do that. Yeah, right? To be honest. Exactly. It's crazy, man. Yeah. And you're just like, dang. These people are like living an entire reality that I have no clue about. You know, you know what's weird? It's like you can either join the um, join the trend or... Wait, are you going to jump on? Your, oh, okay, cool. Uh, you can either join the trend or you can like die. You know what I mean? Like no matter what, like life is progressing in the direction of left, right? But if you want it to stay right... Like, you're just going to have to kill yourself because there's no way it's going to go back. Like, if you, yeah. you, if you meet somebody with, like, no social media presence at all, you're like, wow, you are a dinosaur. That's me. <laughs> that is me. But, but, like, or at least you know how to use it, right? Like, you have some, like, okay, fine. understanding. Like, I know how to use all the, all the technology that, that is right, coming but, out, that comes uh, out. You know, course, like, yeah, at it's, it's the, basic, most basic form. Yes. Exactly, because because like they, um, it was like brought up with like during our time, but like if you check out somebody who has zero clue, it's like you are gonna have a hard time in this world. You know what I mean? Because yeah, like, well that's oh that's so funny because uh, we we're just I was just talking about um, with uh, people that are coming out uh, coming out of prison and being oh, reintegrated into the society. That's interesting. Okay. Right, it's just like uh, imagine, you know, fifteen, ten years, even ten years, just ten years of being out of society and coming back into it. Oh, dude, that would suck so hard. It's like right, how 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 much the technology has changed, how much cars have changed too. See, for so for them, like, for for them coming back into society, that's like the science fiction movie where it's like you you like went ahead in time you know what i'm saying it's like it yeah went, you know for them it would feel like that for us it's like ah, oh, whatever you know yeah that was but, because um uh we oh what was i gonna say we it is gonna be it, they're in a like time capsule it's we'll a time say. capsule yeah exactly Prison is exactly. a time capsule whereas so for us like, it's like a progression yeah that's true actually it's so like we don't capsule. realize it too 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 much we don't realize the change that the change right. As much as someone that uh, was in that that, For sure. time, that time capsule, because yeah. it went from one world to another. Exactly, exactly. Yo. And like, especially now with things like like the iPhone 10 with its like um, buttonless screen. Like, have you have you seen this thing? It's like um, it's like a screen to screen. There's no like top or bottom or something like that. I, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, wait, where's the guys? I'm so lost. I'm being shot. Oh, I'm being shot. Yeah. Where are the guys? Hmm. Can't uh, remember. they're back at the here. You, you get to see waypoint? my waypoint. Right? Yes. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. So, um, yeah, time capsule, man. That's like that's crazy. Or or like, yeah. I wonder if they'll have like a. Well, I was gonna say like I wonder if they'll have a mental breakdown, but I've seen so many movies like that. You know what I mean? I think that's well, like the, the, uh, yeah. biggest, the biggest key is like adaptability. You know, you have to just deal with stuff. You know. Well, people that that, that have gone through, like, have been institutionalized, which is uh -huh. what they call it. It uh, 
they within the first six months of being back into society, they go into prison. Oh really? Oh, that makes sense. Actually, so once they're, they're so yeah, once to. they're free, it's, all they know is 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 prison the prison life. So within six months of uh, getting out of jail, they go right back in. Wow. Well, that makes complete sense though. It's like you're you have like friends in there. You have like an understanding of society of like money. You don't have to worry about money actually, right? Because there's no yeah. But like coming out here, it's like oh, now you got to find a job. Like, well, oh, there's always man. a currency. There's there's always some sort of currency, right? But but like social dynamics wise, it's like way different. It's like it's like a person at uh, in jail is not thinking the same as somebody who works at Tim Hortons. You know no. what I mean? It's like there's no like like you better be nice to your customers, <laughs> right? It's like what are you talking about? You know, it's my it's my homie. You know. Uh. Well, I don't know um, uh, the mind of a prisoner cellmate so, or a prisoner, so I, I wouldn't. I can't say. It, it's interesting. There's some minds that I don't even want to pick, you know, because it's like, like I, I like listening no, to people man. talk, but like, there's a level to it, you know. You might say something. The really one I'm freaky. scared of uh-huh. is the um, the uh, like the split personality ones. Oh, oh, like, oh, have you seen Split? Those, yeah, yeah I saw Split. Oh, so yeah. Good. Yeah, the, those people. But like, know. I've seen, I've seen videos of real people who are like uh, by, that have uh, that have that funny. have the uh, the split personalities, and it scared me, man. Really? Eh? It's, it really did scare me. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> it's it's crazy to think that our mind is so powerful that it can make you, like, we don't realize. Well, I, I guess that's like a true testament to how powerful realities and psychoses are. You know, because it's like, if your mind is like that warped, you have a different personality, then it's like, who are you really? You know, there's there's truly no self, you know? Did you, uh, I was watching some Jim Carrey because you were like bringing him up. He said that he began realizing this when he was playing uh, the part of uh, Andy Kaufman. Because like... Oh, yeah. you you watched that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh, that was yeah. crazy, man. But like, he, he realized that there's no real Jim Carrey because he was... He was playing Andy Kaufman so hard that like he he um, gave up Jim Carrey. It's like everyone had to address him as Andy Kaufman and like blah blah blah. Because he had to. Well, actors always put themselves as the character, right? For sure, like method. Look actors. at uh, look at Heath Ledger and um, Joker. Joker. Yeah. Oh, there's a documentary coming out called uh, Heath Ledger. I uh, heard that. Oh, oh my I, goodness, I heard that. I, just, was, I don't know if it's true. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Vish was showing me some clips oh. from it. It looks so good. They showed the Joker scene, and they're like, "Oh, Heath was so excited for this movie to come out because he like he believed he threw like he like got the role so correct." Blah blah blah. And it's like yeah, yeah, you went cray cray, you know? You yeah, died just after. like Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey went cray cray. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so good question. So he went think- crazy. He lost himself. Ex- exactly. In his mind. But like it, the crazy part is like, all right. So so in the Western society, we have no idea of like what is the self, what is the ego, what is all this stuff, right? So it's like you can quickly become lost in your own personality. That's where like that the, like you know that's where all mental disorders come from. That like, well, not all, but it's a big part of it if you don't know who you are right like you live a yeah live a life you hate blah blah, blah. but like if we had like g- like spiritual teachers that showed us all this like it- it's almost a shame that we don't have this in our society now where we know that like no your your self is a slippery slope bro there really is no self you know but when you say stuff like that you look like you're crazy you, you it, it sounds crazy it does it does so like to, i was to people that don't don't know what you but what you mean by self you know ex- exactly. so that's why ex- exactly exactly so that that's why i like br- bridging it with as much western influence as i can because it's like if you don't have that then you're gonna think i'm crazy you know because i was watching the the jim carrey stuff and like his uh he was on this this interview it's almost like it was the girl right and the girl thought she he was super crazy with oh, all no, his no. answers Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, okay. I saw that one too. But then there was another one where it's like, uh, he was he was on a talk show and he was acting like extra. So okay, like, it's one thing to realize. So all right, okay. So Eastern philosophy is this: understand that there is no self, right? But also at the yeah. same time realize that you do have a self. It's both not true yeah. and true, right? It's a paradox. Yeah. 
right? We're in this world with yeah. a bunch of selves, right? But yeah. I was watching the Jim Carrey thing, and yes, he knows there's no self, but because he knows there's no self, he's acting extra weird, you know? He was like pouring like, uh, oh shit, get hit. He was pouring like, um, like coffee into like the mug and like being extra about it and like they were like okay this guy's like nuts it's like you're on drugs he's like i'm not on drugs man like there is no man there's no me blah blah and it's like okay but you forgot the second part of that equation that you do have a self so you're being mm -hmm. extra weird right now and people are freaking out it's like somebody who's on drugs and then they're him like, being extra he's being extra weird that's his character that's that's his character that people know him as for sure you know? for sure but it's like it's like you can also be cordial you know like uh, mm. uh somebody my, my cousin asked me this because i said like everyone who doesn't know this stuff is pretty much like it's like they're in prison right you don't know you have a mind you're you're kind of imprisoned you know uh and then he's like well what like how come you shouldn't be rude to people like why should you be nice he was asking me and i was like because you shouldn't spit on the prisoner bro you know it's like what he's doing is he's playing with the fact that he knows that nobody knows that they have a mind. So he's being a dick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, uh, like, you just have to watch uh, it. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, like, yeah. Right? It's like, okay, like a, yes, one half, you're right, because you have no self. So it doesn't matter, you know, whatever it is you do. I think, I think it got to a point where he was sick of it. He was like, I think he, he got to a point where it was like, how come no one is. You know, exactly. No, exactly. Around me is seeing this. Yes. Yes. What's yes. Going on? yes. And then that's and that where it was like, crazy. I gotta just, I just have to, I just gotta just boom. And then he's just going acting out that way. Because, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I get it. And but but it's like if you understand that you do have a self, even though you don't have a self, then it's like then maybe you shouldn't be so freaking extra because these people are freaking out. Like, you know what I mean? Like. But uh, maybe he is psychotic because he's like, nobody understands what I know, blah, 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 blah. Like we were saying about the Tom DeLonge thing, right? It's like, uh, it's like, well, we have alien technology, blah, blah, blah. It's like, how do you, how do you, like, how do you, what do you say to people who think you're crazy? He's like, well, they just don't know what I know. That's what a crazy person would say. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. well, you, just, you just don't know that I know that you're not real. Remember that interview? He's like, he's like, oh, we're just making sounds with our mouths. Like, there is no me, there is no you. It's not real, blah blah. blah. And like, the girl was freaking out. And it's like, yeah, it's like she was like, yeah, her chill. eyes widen. Yeah, and right. Like, and he's what like, what the hell are you talking about? But but see, the the funny part is like, you, you're saying like, oh, like maybe he's just getting frustrated that nobody knows, right? But hello, you're an actor, bro. Yeah. you chose this freaking life. So yeah, he you chose you chose the life. Well. This life that he chose guided him to to what he knows now. For sure, for sure. But for, he okay. just can't accept the fact that no one else was not well, not no one else, but like not a lot of people are seeing it. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Totally, a hundred percent. So, like, uh, from from a personal perspective, when I was in PR and I was like, guys, you know, this is a joke, right? But I was being Jim Carrey. It's like, no. It is a joke, but why are you being such a dick about it? You know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah. It would have been okay. nicer if I just was like, oh uh, yeah, okay, just play along, blah, 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 blah. You know, like, yeah, I chose exactly. to come to class. Like, why'd you come to class then? If it's such a joke, you know what I mean? Yeah, why, why are you getting this degree? Why are you getting, Exactly. You know, well, I mean, I was, I was like, I need the degree. <laughs> We're, we live in the yeah. world like this, so I, just, I have to. But like, like it, it's like Jim Carrey. It's like, he's probably just like, I need the money, so I'm going to be a dick to like everyone about this uh don't think oh i think he's done man he's been done no he's got a he new TV show coming out no, no no i just the re oh, interview i saw was recent yeah, yeah, yeah. he's uh what he's tv out. show uh it's like a show about an actor who uh, a comedian who's like losing his mind that's not a show that is all behind the scenes of the old movie of the man on the moon oh shoot okay maybe that's what they're talking so about old Joe movie Rogan. man on the moon uh-huh the old movie man on the moon he made it like years ago it was okay. one of the best movies supposedly that he made that a okay, lot of people really? say okay so this is all the behind the scenes stuff that they didn't want put into the oh, movie right, when it first right, came out. right 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 so right. they're gonna see all the behind the scenes stuff the all the extra effort that jim carrey went through in truly believing that he is that character 
Okay, okay. Yeah, so I guess that's why he was on the interview show, because it was, like, really recent that I saw this one. Like, uh, it was, like, published. Yeah, recently. I saw this. Yeah, I saw so, this one. It was with the, with the creators, too, right? The two guys? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if they were creators. Okay. Like, they, there was, like, two people there, but, like, yeah, so... He, two no, people, was, he was in the middle, right? Oh, uh, no, he was in the middle. He was on the very... It was, it was a talk show. It was, like, a morning talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah. A uh, morning YouTube talk show, so it was, like, it could go on as, like, long as whatever they wanted you know but yeah so hey, where are we on hmm? we're going in here oh, okay cool yeah so that's too bad yo have you have you seen anyone that like exhibits an understanding for this like this no mind mind kind of thing and they're doing it very well you know because like a lot of people they they like they glorify like jim Carrey, like oh man he's so woke. i mean i did it too he's so woke but like watching it again with more foresight it's like oh no you're just being a dick you know so it's, yeah. it's like you're woke but you're be you, oh thanks man did I hit you oh shit my bad did i kill you you're woke but you're a dick about it yeah it, exactly exactly so it's like you don't need to be, but if you're truly woke, you would not be addicted. That's about. what I'm saying. So it's like it's fake wokeness. It, it's just like freaking uh, the the guy we brought up, uh, Tony Robbins. Yo, it's like that. It's like yeah, okay, you're woke, but fucking why are you being a dick that you're woke? Yeah. Yeah. So like, do you do you know anybody who's like, who's exhibited it very well? And it's like, oh, you're woke and you're being really cool about it. Um, it's very rare. Uh, you know what? I, I again, I would think it was just another perception thing. What do you mean? Like, it's you don't actually who's know more that. woke to you? No, like, but like, but like, not not like pushy about it in people's faces. Like I, oh. I from from my perspective, I'd say like Joe Rogan is very like uh, woke but not pushy. He now he is before now, he no, was no, a no, for sure. Dick. Oh yeah, he was. He yeah. was before, before. Yeah, I saw. He was a big dick. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yes. But he. But that's he, why I liked him because it was like he was just straight up about it. For sure. There's no sugar coating. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, yo. But like. Oh, the, I'm getting shot at. Oh, Help no, me. No. Run back, run back. Um, but with that, I got him. Oh, there's another guy. Okay, cool. Uh, but with that. Oh. Okay. Oh, you died. Behind you! Behind you! Oh. Behind you! Uh, but but with that, it's like uh, he often talks about that now on his podcast. Like, oh man, I knew nothing at like twenty, whatever, in my thirties. You know, he's he's like only now now that he's like fifty. He's like, oh, I'm finally figuring it out. You know. But even saying that you figured it out is like true. No, no, but like figured out that he's a dick. Okay. That's what he meant. Not like oh, figured oh out okay. Life. He's like, I figured out that I was a dick. It's like, oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, he's like, hey, you shouldn't yeah. act like that. Yeah, I went through that too. So sure. I was like, just Forget going through that process of. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. What, what were you saying? You uh, going through that process? Oh, I went. I went through that process in the past, but it was it was like, it was too much because it was all about like religion. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's Remember a big that? one. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Sure. that was a huge one. I was like, okay, I gotta. Once I realized the impact I had on another, I was like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta pull back For sure. on this one. And that's when I realized like, I, I was a total dick and like, it, it was all about like what other people believed. And it's like, you can't push knowledge or whatever into something that someone already believes in. Totally, totally, yeah. And you can't change it. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm okay. The only person that can really change it is themselves, right? So Yes. And, and that's the crazy like, revelation oh. too, yo, that it's like, there is no saving anyone, bro. There's only saving yourself yeah. of the grief. You know, it's funny. It's like, it's like, I want to save the world. Save the world of what? Anguish, bro. That's what it is. It's like, but you don't realize it's your anguish that you're trying to save. You're like, oh man, people just need to wake up. It's like, that's your problem, bro. Yeah, exactly. Oh, internet is horrible. Yeah, exactly. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. But but like what what does a what does a perfect world even look like? You know what I mean? Where we all share uh, whatever is perfect for you. For sure, no, no. But like but like what's the what's the standard ideal perfect world where everybody understands <sighs> and we just we love each other with kindness and then you know what I mean? So we no, share resources. No, but some the bad like, man's perfect world is chaos. So it's like true. That's very true. 
Yeah, there's exactly, no, there's exactly. no perfect world, man. So, so the the uh, there's this story, uh, this show with Kirsten Bell on Netflix. I haven't seen it, but Vish told me about the premise. Basically, um, it's this girl who thinks she's going to heaven, but it's actually hell because she's such a bad person that like everyone's nice, and because everyone's nice, it's her hell. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She's a bad person, but. What she doesn't like it when people are nice to her? Um, yeah, she just like hate. It's like too fake, I guess. It's like, oh, jolly G, uh, jolly G. What's your uh, jolly uh, jolly G, <laughs> golly G? Like, what what are you doing today? And she's like, shut up, I hate you, leave me alone. Well, that's not nice. You know what I mean? That that kind of stuff. Oh, right. And she's like she's basically just real, I guess. And then like. To her, that fakeness yeah. is making oh. her go crazy. But that's that that fake world is what everybody. Oh, dude, that's a revelation. Actually, I just I just had it right now. Oh. That fake world is what everybody's striving towards, but they don't realize it's not real. It's like, what do you mean? Like, we should all just be nice to each other. That's fake. It's just gonna be fake nice. What if you don't like the person? It's like, dude, I don't want to look at your yeah. face. You yeah, because I mean? that's when the authenticity comes, right? Exactly. So like... Neg authenticity is negativity, yo. Because it's Positive both good and, and bad. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's good when it's good. It's bad, it's bad when it's bad. Like, do you really want to hang out with, like, freaking somebody that hates you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Uh, the, that's why it's... Ah, you can't... There's no perfect world. It's yes, just... No. It's, always just like, it's always just about accepting what is... Yeah, totally. And, uh, and, and the perfect world for is. someone... Is just a giant piss off for another person. It's like, dude, in a perfect world, we wouldn't eat meat. I'd be like, dude, I like meat. Jeez, well, I like my burgers. In a perfect world, I would not have heard you say that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not in this perfect world. That's true, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, in a perfect it world, like you wouldn't, uh, in a perfect world you wouldn't have. Eat, you wouldn't. Eat, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't tell me how to live my life. Oh. But it, you know, I'm not in. A, I'm not in a perfect world. Ooh, that. So. Whoa, 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 whoa! You hit on something so profound. In a perfect world, you would not be telling me what I need to fix. How, or like how yeah, to live my life. How live, to live my, my life. life. Yeah, exactly. And it's like it's like, yeah, that's why there'll never be a perfect world. Because as soon as you have a perfect world, it's just you pushing your opinion on somebody else. You know? Yeah. In my per yeah, that's true, yo. Because if there was a perfect world, they would not they wouldn't be saying this to you right now. You know? It wouldn't even come yeah, up. Exactly. In, just, in my perfect world, it wouldn't even come up. But maybe it is already a perfect world because it's like, dude, just leave me alone. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, we're already living a perfect yeah. world existence because I'm not talking to those people that do not agree with me. You yeah. know, you, oh, dude, you know what? You, you know what? Oh, uh, dude, you know what these people need to do who want a perfect world? Get some new friends. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Because yeah. it's like, oh, man, this person's like, why are you hanging out with that person then? Jesus, man like 2 billion people yeah. on this planet and you need to hang with the people that you find are dicks <laughs> yeah okay I get that right yeah if, if you're unhappy with with that then yeah you have to find new friends exactly exactly I think I think that's what these people need to figure out you know yeah mm. that's so funny yo. maybe right like stop maybe stop I looking. need to figure out why their lives are so amazing. amazing. I don't know. I don't care. I'm trying I'm trying to be like, oh, maybe I'm wrong and they're right, who knows? No, I you know, I, I can I can I can I can see it from their perspective, but For sure. yeah. I can't say I've experienced it or have wisdom with it, so it's like eh, and I don't care to though. So but like, that's so the main thing. I don't care to. But like I'm, I'm just using like logical deductive reasoning. You know what I mean? It's like I, okay, I don't need to experience this one. I'm just to me, it makes sense. Okay. No, no, I, I get what you're doing. I get oh yeah. Doing. No, no, I get what you're doing. I always, I always try to see, I always try to see other, the other person's. For sure, agreed, know, agreed. Experience, like I'll be like, okay, let me live this experience to your experience. For sure. And then I try to understand, it. and then if I, I'll be like, okay, I get it, but it's not for me. But, you know? Agreed, agreed. It'll be like that. You, you know what's funny when uh when somebody they they're like oh why do you like they they shut down have you ever met somebody like that that's why I love arguments not arg this like I wouldn't call this an argument this is more like a philosophical discussion but like somebody who shuts down during a philosophical discussion is so funny to me 
They're just like, I you're just, you're just so that's... ignorant. Never. You never attempted. I've never, never. I'm not. I never. Well, because I don't talk. I don't talk f philosophical with a lot of people. Only no, no. those that I know are open to. Uh, that are open minded and for, can hear. For sure, for sure. Other I, people I get what But but like no, no I, I mean I mean it's like um, everything you say is a philosophical discussion because philosophy is your own ideas being pushed onto another person, right? It's like. Well, like, I, I I don't push I don't push anything onto others. But but even I'll say so, it, but. The, but Even saying it exactly. means pushing it onto yeah, others yeah, because you've already you've already put it in their sphere of influence. You put it onto the world. Okay. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So it's like the fact uh, that you said it means that you're engaging in a philosophical discussion. If you were if you didn't say anything, then it means you don't do that stuff. But the fact that you you voice your opinion means that you are engaging in philosophy. So you're saying that any co type of conversation is pretty much a philosophical discussion. I believe so. Yeah, and anything that's not like anything that's not just like stating things i think that's but that, that's what i hate i hate it when people are like oh the weather's warm yeah it is warm <laughs> <laughs> it's like what are we gonna talk about yo like leave me alone how about that uh, <laughs> yeah. i don't i i would i would never say that what leave me alone or the weather's warm like oh it's warm or it's, yeah i don't right. i don't say that i don't even i don't even address the weather anymore that much for sure for sure at all but but if you uh, it's, if, it's just because yeah it's close ended and it's very like it's very like why are you trying to small talk Don't exactly 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 yeah, so yeah. and any any kind of conversation that's open-ended you're engaging in philosophy because philosophy is something that you make up that's not really real it's like you're musing you know you're like guessing on something that's why mm. i think every discussion that's not close-ended is just philosophical philosophical discussion it's like well, where do you think we go when we die you know that's a philo this is a philosophical discussion or like uh, like, why do you think that the painter used red instead of blue? Philosophy, mm. right? But but I think it's funny when somebody's like, they're like, dude, that's negative, and they just like shut down the combo, and you're like, oh, okay, like you're one of those, you know? But then and then they then they have the the nerve to go like, oh man, I'm so like, I'm so like open and woke. I think that's the best term I've ever heard. I'm woke. I'm woke. Yeah, it's like, who's to say you're woke, bro? Okay, all right, you you shoot up these things. I take a mad hit. Damn, too much coffee. Anyone listening? Uh, drink less coffee. I love coffee. Damn, beer back, beer back. Yeah, I'll do this alone. Oh shoot! Never mind. No. And I'm back. They're, they're on the right side. Just All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, you, you know what's interesting? How because of technology, there's no... Oh, dude, there's a lot of people here. Uh, because of technology, there's no way you're ever going to escape your past. Unless you get rid of technology, but I guess. You, you can... Oh. But can you... Oh, I guess you can, just by being in the present moment, but... No, no, but I, I meant more like, more like literally, versus like, like pe people who haunted you in the past will definitely still haunt you in the future, kind of thing. Uh, yes. You know, because like even if what you, do you mean? Like, yeah. Like, what do you like mean our, by that? Uh, because of technology. So like, uh, like you got bullies. Facebook. No, 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 not bullies. But like somebody you once knew, because of the way technology is going you're gonna somehow interact with that person you once knew in some shape or form. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? Just, be, just because of technology. So, like, uh, do you remember, um, uh, I don't know if I should say his name. No. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. So, basically, somebody from high school. Give, um, give they, me the... Uh, the actions. Uh, <laughs> just give me the yeah. Don't uh, give me name. No okay, details. Okay, I just, got you, I got you. Oh, yeah. just just give you like the the story. The story. Yeah. Okay. So like, I was uh, I was like yeah I've been more active on like Twitter and Instagram and stuff because I'm like okay let me just focus on my own stuff now right. So then this guy from high school like added me and I was like oh dang I haven't seen you in so long I didn't even talk to you you know. Yeah. And it's like that's because of the internet everyone will somehow come back to you. You know what I mean? Like, all right, good example. So, all right, it's, it's public knowledge now. Uh, a certain somebody killed their kid from our high school. Okay. So in that, if anybody... I did not know that. I am not, no. no. <laughs> okay, well, if you if you read the newspaper, uh, freaking, they, they, uh, You'll find out that they no. did something quite horrendous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite okay. bad. But so, okay. <laughs> you need a moment. You just gotta like, chill with that for a second. Yeah, you can go. All right, yeah, so yeah. we can uh, keep going. I'm good. I'm just. This is pretty messed uh, up. I know. I know. This awestruck right now. It's like what? Yeah. So they 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 unfortunately caused the passing away of their child, and uh, if any, so like, all right, so. Let's say you've never heard of, like, you you remember that guy from high school, but you're like, oh, I haven't heard of him in so long. And then you read the newspaper, boom, back into your life. Uh, Not physically, of course, uh, but, like, the fact that they're, you're thinking about them means they're back in your sphere of influence or, like, life. You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, that's why I'm saying yeah. you can never escape anyone, you know? Yeah. And that's, like, the freaking scary scary revelation that we're so interconnected as like a species unless you like totally just like go to india or something and just like never never touch a computer you know you like you totally like, hibernate yourself that's probably the only time oh. that's probably the uh, only time i'm actually looking <laughs> yeah, <you're good. laughs> this man's googling it yeah i you're... am i am Oh, right, right, oh my right. god. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying so, to find it with this. Give me a story and then I'll try to find it. Uh, well, why don't I just oh, give yeah, me... no, no, okay. Actually, just it? text me. Just text me. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, well, just uh... text me. We'll keep it. We'll, yeah, because we're connected to this person in some way in the past, we, we're going we're gonna, to like do this. Uh, like more off the, the books? Box. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, so it is a huge thing. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just, it's right. just, it was just. Uh, I was just wow! I was just uh, awestruck by it, so I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to know what happened. Just because, yeah, that person was a part of my life. I don't know who they're talking about. For sure, yet. yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why it was intriguing for me, and my curiosity came over me there. When, uh, when we're, uh, when, <laughs> no, it's fine. When, when, uh, when we're back, uh, when we're off air, I'll just tell you who it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so it. It's like it's actually you know it's an interesting thought. Is it weird that I I don't like you know like natural tendency is for somebody to be like oh no, like for me that's like like social structures like that they tend to make me laugh because I find them so ridiculous. It's like oh we need a moment of silence. I'm like for Ooh. what? That's just set, setting intention, you know. Ah, uh, I see, I see. To... Yeah, I just want to get your opinion on that because yeah. like I I don't find that. Like, um, I think it's just setting it in attention and being just, just being. Uh, it's all about remembrance at that moment. For sure, for sure. Okay, speaking it's of intention and remembrance. Agreed, yeah. agreed. So speaking okay. of remembrance, Remembrance Day is coming up, right? And I remember in like high school, um, they're they're doing like that moment. Like, uh, they do like eleven minutes or something like that of silence. Is it eleven know. minutes? They, they do, they do something like that. time to like have a nice nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. So, so you had a nap, right? So I was sitting with my friend and then like I made him laugh and then we got pulled into the hall and like um, being the great marketer that I am that who's shaping stories. I was like, no, no, we, we saw something on uh family. He's like, he's like, you think that the veterans are a joke? You think it's, you think it's funny to laugh at uh, like people Wait. who died for you? Ooh, you went to the principal's office? Like, no, 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 no. The, the, the teacher brought us outside. Like no, no, no. The, the teacher oh. brought us outside. Like, I, I, I made him laugh, you know, and then, like, 
he made this huge deal. He like brought us outside, and I was like, I was like, no, no, no. It's like we we. Uh, no, I totally respect them. I just I just uh, saw something really funny on Family Guy, and he's like, oh, fine. But like, in that, I I almost feel like I don't understand what these these moments are for. Like even wearing a poppy, I I get mm. I get it. You know, I get it. Sure, but it's like. I, I prefer to remember them all the time. For like, dude, we would not, honestly, if, if people are listening and they're like, oh man, you're so insensitive. It's like, no, really not. Because like, I, I appreciate the fact that we have this country because of them. But like, why is, it's like Christmas, yo. Or no, it's like birthdays. It's like, why are you gonna celebrate my one day? Like I was alive for 364 365. days. No, yeah. 364, just the one day you're gonna remember me on my birthday. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, uh, it's kind of weird for me. It's, it yeah. seems disingenuous, just like wearing a poppy for me. Cause it's like, why don't you wear the poppy all year round, bro? Like why do I wear it just that one day? Yeah. You know? Totally get that. But again, in like in t like typical society that's seen as like, um, very insensitive and jerkish and like, you're a horrible human being kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's, well, I don't know. It's all controlled, right? Exactly. Let's have controlled remembrance, guys. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's like it's like you think you're being yeah. good, but you're just being controlled by a society that's telling you to do something. It's like if yeah, I had. But no in reality, if it was if it was your family member or something, you would yeah, you would automatically just remember them. Exactly. Uh, daily weekly whatever it's like you don't need one day to remember exactly. them i get what you're saying right i get right. it it's it's like it makes think... sense it makes sense to me too that's why i don't put i don't put a lot of emphasis but also uh -huh. my none of my family members have enlisted right so i, I can't well no say... we're, we're freaking ex we're um not expats we're uh what do you call that immigrants you know so it's yeah. like so it's like okay, it, fine. it's, it's but like, extra i, I Okay. It's extra ridiculous because it's like, no, my family came from the Philippines. So why are you making me like do this moment of silence for But as a Canadian citizen you you it's it's part of your responsibility now as a Canadian citizen. For sure, for sure. But but like uh Which is what is portrayed in the society. Exactly. Ex you right? are just being controlled. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And it's like why why like do you think the four year old really cares about the fact that he's free? You know, didn't didn't a lot of other people die because of other things like that's so funny i saw an, i saw a um a instagram uh, -huh. uh meme and it goes 1960s when the anthem goes on and everyone's like very upright and all in the same position and then it goes <laughs> yeah. 2017 you all see all these kids. One kid's like, yeah, making some another kid laugh. Exactly. Other ones are playing with toys. Bro, totally. And it's the same age. It's the same age group too. Yeah. Pretty, yeah, and, I found that pretty funny. But it's it's so true. It's like it's like, but we're saying the things that nobody's saying. They're just thinking about it. They're just like, man, this is kind of ridiculous. But nobody wants to think it's ridiculous because you don't want to step out of line, you know. But it's like it is ridiculous because when you see that. Like right now, you're seeing how connected people are in this world and how connected everyone is. So it's, there's no more, there's no more separation. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like you, you see that there's no more separation because yeah, it's the internet, right? Yeah, exactly. The internet has pretty much got rid of that. Completely sure. got rid of it. For sure. Uh, and I, like, look at all the young generations, like. Yeah, with the whole gaming, going back to the gaming and going, oh, my friend in, like, I don't know, Japan, I play, I game with him all the time. He's saying yeah. I could stay at his house while I visit. It's like, you know, Ex like. Exactly. There's no more separation. And with that, with that, it, it kills that notion that, like, patriotism is like, I am only going to care about my people. For sure, no totally, totally. Because it's like, dude, we're all one people. So yeah. you know what's funny? If people are like, oh, you know, in a perfect world, like, oh, we need like everyone to be woke, and then you should understand that like your ideas are not even woke. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. I love my country. It's like, yeah, but there's so many other countries. You know, like yeah, shit. that's the thing. That's what that's what the that's what a lot like a lot of people are 
geg towards where it's like, why do I need to, why do I need to mm-hmm. blindly just accept like the rules of this society? Exactly. Like they're 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 the bounds the boundaries are starting to be pushed yes. and bend. It's starting yes. to bend now. So like we are going through a lot of changes. Totally, totally. You, you it know, it's good. An, it is an, good. an interesting thought is, um, you know, how they're saying like in two thousand, it's going to be the end of the world. Well, two thousand seventeen. Agreed, yeah, agreed, but agreed. Yeah. But but like, okay. if you look at it more analogously, well, I guess this is more like the Bible people trying to like put, like place emphasis on their belief with like, no, it actually meant this. You know what I mean? But like, uh, what what they're saying is like this could be the age of enlightenment. Like we we died in a sense of like we started to die of our allegiances and like the internet is the thing that was the great unifier because like um if you like you know the renaissance period yeah you've heard of that right I, like, it's what like, about it all right so like yeah. they didn't call it the renaissance period while it was going on you know what I mean? no they didn't they just exactly. called it the moment you know they're like okay this is going on it's it's not until like 200 300 400 years later that people are like they can examine it and they're like oh this is the uh this is the um renaissance period so like from the year 2000 onward they could just be like oh this was the enlightenment period where people began well, every, to realize everyone thinks that they like well how about the 60s weren't they calling that the enlightenment period uh, where yeah, everyone true, was true. on LSD and then it, that, that was, was like, the drug that was opening everyone's eyes to it, That truth. was like the hippie era, I'd say. Like they, they ended okay. up with classifying more like that. Like I don't think But they, the hippies like, believed that they were enlightened though. So. For sure, no, no. But like scientifically speaking, I mean, like the Renaissance period is like a scientific label. Like I, oh, I, okay. Right? I, I think in, okay. I think in, that, that's more like a colloquial thing. You know, you're saying like, oh yeah, yeah they're like, okay. right? But like yeah, I, yeah. I, I actually think that in like maybe 500 years if we're still around there's gonna be a textbook and it's gonna be like this was the moment of awakening like when the internet was born yeah that's right because the whole world changed well we can go back and say it's when the when eastern philosophy went to the west that's true too but but like without that's the, the start that without, would be the start true no no but without the internet it's like you could still have your small clusters. So like a good example is like uh, back the, it, uh, they call it like water cooler talk. So it's like before when the media was very limited, there was like no YouTube. Then you get like, um, you get like uh, people around the water cooler always talking about the same stuff. It's like, did you watch the, uh, the news yesterday? But, yeah. like, but now, uh, because if, we want to do one last one. I think I'm done, yo. I okay, gotta cool. eat, I'm hungry. <laughs> all good, all good. Uh, I'll, just find, I'll just finish this thought. Um, that like, it's like, it's like called water cooler period where they're like, they're like all talking about the same thing. But if you, if you look at it now, you have like niche, niche markets kind of thing where it's like you, you like, you can come to somebody who's like, oh, I watch this thing on BBC. And then I watch, there's another person's like, oh, I watch this thing about like the Rolling Stones. And this other person's like, I watched this thing about blah, blah, blah. Right. It's because the internet has allowed us the, the ability to access things we never thought we could, you know? Yeah. And that's why, that's why I'm saying it's more about the internet because like, even though Eastern philosophy did come, it's like without the internet, it wouldn't have spread because who could Wikipedia, it? you know what I mean? Like only a select few in certain like cities would be very woke, you know? But then now uh, with the internet, it's like, I can pass you a video. I can pass you an article. I can, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But then there's also the misdirection that's very true too that is the only problem there's so much more misdirection now there is there is but i think that's why i i attribute it to like real recognize real and it's like just be real and then the people that are real will just come towards you because it's your version of real you know what i mean yeah i don't need to um it's like why do you even care about the misdirection it's like if you're gonna be misdirected you're that kind of person anyways i don't want to talk to you yeah you know I'm gonna go right into death's hands right here. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're screenshot. I like it. I like it. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Yo. Any final thoughts? <laughs> As I take this screenshot. Um. Just know it's all perception. Happiness is all in you. Find what makes you happy. Oh. Uh-huh. And what's actually I have to go on the other side. Whatever is real. Whatever you. Whatever. 
whatever what makes it real is whatever you believe. <laughs> so your belief makes it real. Which is quite scary. Because if you if you don't if you don't manage your beliefs, then you're screwed. <laughs> right? It is it is scary, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's too funny. Can you just uh, know that you know I can I, I am I could be talking bullshit right now. Just know that. Exa exactly. Yeah, that's, just saying. Just that's know a crazy it. revelation. They're gonna listen. I can talk like, bullshit to you. Yeah. You know I could be bullshit to you. I could be truth to you. Because we're all, we're all just bullshitters, you, though. Pretty much. <laughs> that's that's funny, yo. Just straight up saying it. All just bullshitters. I have to. Some are just better at bullshitting than others. No, I'm, we're just passing on information that was passed on to ourselves, you know? Yeah. Hey, I heard this. Oh, I found this. Oh, I read this. You know, that's all we've been doing. For sure. Yeah, yeah, Oh, what do you think of this? Oh, I think about that. Oh, okay. You know, like, it, you it's know, all that, opinions and, and that, knowledge that we've gained through our lives. That, that's what that's a Socrates wanted, eh? He's like, I just, or played it, you know, Socrates. He's like, people just need to engage in, like, discussion again. Because we don't do that anymore. But it's funny because, like, he's Isn't saying that... what that, university is? Uh, what, engaging in discussion? Yeah. Uh, well, it was before. Isn't, that, isn't, isn't university giving the space to do that? Allegedly, but now it's like a scholastic institution. Uh, it's like a, a commercialized institution that makes a lot of money. Okay. That's true. Because they like made they uh, you have to pay for school right, before. But they make more free. They are using the money for the space to discuss uh, or discussion. Maybe then why do they need to be paid so much money? Because they are greedy. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Commercialization. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's what I think. It, it what do you think? Down, it all comes down to money. <laughs> Need that money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're good? We're yeah, good. Yeah. I'm done. All right. We're good. All right. Till next mad. time. Um, Sydney said it best. We're lying about everything. <laughs> 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 I am. Peace. But we're also telling the truth. That's true. Yeah. How can that be? I don't know. I don't know. Figure it out for yourself. Exactly, exactly. All right, yo. Peace. All right. Later.